As the temperatures start to drop, the leaves start to fall, and the frost sticks around a little bit longer, this is the time of year when all of our thoughts at work and everywhere else are drifting off, dreaming of hunting big old mealies. Let's hit the road with Pad, JT, Jaron, and JD as they pursue big mule deer in Colorado. We're excited. We just drove a long ways to get here. We got big bucks on our mind and just trying to pack up for tonight, get up here in glass. But game plan is the snow, it's supposed to snow a lot tonight. So Thursday, me and JT are gonna pack our bags, hike as far up this canyon as we can, start two hours before light and walk till it gets dark, get as far away as we can from this truck, farther than anyone's ever walked before in this canyon. <laughs> and uh, get up in the big bucks home so it's not a lot of time especially if thursday or wednesday tomorrow probably won't be able to hunt a lot because it's going to be snowing but so really we have a four-day hunt so gotta get after it yeah it's not going to be easy but we're going to get after it if if, uh, if i don't kill a deer it's not because we didn't try we're going to hike as far as i've ever hiked on this hunt so but to say that I think we got a good chance of killing the big buck. I've only had this feeling one other time we killed two 200 inches. So I think I think we're gonna kill big deer. We just gotta hunt hard and get after it. So tonight we're just gonna hike up here a couple hours, glass up into the canyon and just try and get a feel for what's here right now. So let's get our bags packed, have a little snack, get some. Let's have a protein. cheese. Have a cheese, buddy. So let's get it done. Let's go. I don't know if you can tell how steep it is right here, but it's a steep hill. It's really muddy, so you slide. It's hard to get traction, but we got lots of time. We got a couple hours to get up there for prime time. So. Oh, and by the way, you got to be careful who you take hunting. You can't take friends you don't trust because they end up back in your spots with their other buddy. So. Lesson number one, only take your good friends hunting. All these boot tracks, they're the guys I used to take in here. They're in here hunting without me, so. <laughs> we gotta go get a look at these two bucks I can see. See if they're shooters. just walking out of here uh, it's night before the hunt me and JT walked clear up this ridge and glass to, didn't see a lot of deer but we found two pretty good bucks one shooter one borderline maybe for JD so uh, the snow's coming in we're coming back so hopefully we'll see what the morning brings it's probably gonna be socked in but as soon as it lets up we're gonna be back in there after that buck so uh, it's looking, it's looking pretty good. This, this storm's gonna help. So we got a long walk. We got to get out of here. But uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning, opening day. It's always a fun day. Never know what's gonna happen. So. snowed up a lot last night so I'm pretty excited couldn't ask for much 
better than this. So we got a long way to go and a lot of snow. Uh, pretty pumped right now. I'm gonna get after it. It's not gonna be easy. The wind's blowing. It's cold, but I'm gonna go dig them out today. It's the only thing we can do. We can't kill them in the truck. Let's go get them. Fuck fresh snow. Blood dinosaur, but she finally started. <laughs> JD, de ice in the old pioneer windshield. Here we can see, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are. It's day two of our Colorado deer hunt. Uh, yesterday was pretty tough. It snowed pretty much all day. Visibility was poor. It's lifted, so today's today's the day. Uh, should be a great day. We're gonna get up here and start hiking. It's gonna take about two hours to get to where we want to be at first light. So we're gonna get up in there, hunt hard all day till it gets dark. Try and dig something up today. It's I got a good feeling. Me and JD, we both have tags, so I think we might be able to fill one of them today. So uh, pretty excited. It's gonna be a fun day. It's colder than heck out there but it'll be good be good deer hunt the deer should be out they're starting to run a little bit so seen a big buck last night right at dark about shot him but jt won't let me so i'm gonna try and sneak away from jt today and smack one so let's go let's go kill a big buck son you ready oh i'm ready What do you think, Jake? Huh? Rolling hot, son. You ready? Oh, We're yeah. gonna kill today, sonny. Give me a lowdown. Kill one. Uh, day two. 18 degrees. We're headed in. Rolling hot, baby. Let's go kill big buck, dude. Well, my dream buck is over on that hill. He's a long ways away. Sweetest buck I've ever seen in my life. I have a tag and a long range gun and I'm gonna kill him tonight. I, he's unreal. This buck's got the biggest back, these biggest frames, some trash, unreal. I, if I shoot this deer, I'll quit hunting for the day anyway. He's what we came here this for. This is what I've waited my whole life for, is 
chase a buck like this. No brainer, absolute giant pig. It's cold out here, but I ain't shaking because it's cold. I'm shaking because I got a two freaking 20 buck. I'm gonna kill the night. Tip, giant, typical. He ain't in the most killable spot, but I think we can still get it done. We got the big buck bedded in some pines. It's hard to see, but Jaren and JD are back watching him. And uh, me and JT are going in after him. So it's about four miles of blow down, but biggest buck I've ever seen on a hunt. So I don't care what we gotta do, we're going after him. So uh, we might have to just build a fire because I don't think we could walk out by light. So we might just stay the night. I don't know, we'll see. If everything goes as planned, yeah, should have about a six, seven hundred yard shot. If he comes out where we want him to come out, it'll be six, seven hundred yards. So but you know how that goes. Plan, so. Never happens. We're just gonna go get over in his grill and see what happens. I can't shoot him sitting over there watching him. So let's go kill him. As Tad and JT close the distance, JT hangs back on point as Tad moves in for the shot. With the super cold temps, Tad's video camera battery went dead. After two long hours of waiting for the buck to present a shot, JT was able to capture it on video with his scope cam kit from across the canyon. I'm gonna blow it down, shot. It's rolling. Don't shoot, Raleigh. Now shoot. You hit him. You hit him. Put another one in him. Hit. Just walking up on my buck. I shot him an hour and a half ago. And that's the hardest walk I've ever been on in my life. On my butt or on my face, hands and knees. It's taken me an hour and a half. It's brutal. Steepest, nastiest. I got stuck in a tree. I couldn't get out of it. It was unreal. I got 200 yards to go. I'm absolutely drained and pumped at the same time. I'm gonna go look at a big buck, biggest buck I ever shot. I probably look like I just got ran over by a train. I don't care. I got a big buck. It might take me another half hour to get to him 200 yards away, but I'll video him when I get there. Well, here we are going in to get the buck. We shot late last night. It's cleared in here. We didn't, we couldn't get it out last night. So we'll go pack it out today and uh, hopefully we make it out of here. We're pretty tired. We got to hurry, try and get in here, get out and hunt tonight. So you better start walking, buddy. You better come break trail, young boy. What do you think? He was hurting right there, huh? Oh, bad. He wasn't going nowhere. Huh. Yeah, that's a dead deer. He knew it too. <laughs> Did he grow on you today? He's pretty big deer. Good gosh. 190. Dude, that's a stud. Boom, baby! I want to get it. Looks like you're in the 200 inch club now. Well, here we are. Knocked down this big buck last night. Um, we've been hunting hard. Awesome hunt. I uh, just had some bad luck and uh, it all came together last night. We found him in the morning, bedded him. He got bumped by some hunters and uh, still kept after it and locked into it. He, he came out again and JT spotted him. And I got over and made a hit him four out of five shots at 600 yards thanks to that. Uh, amazing gun by Bullseye. I made him pass on a couple slammer bucks earlier. And <laughs> yeah, we go back. We there. weren't talking there for about <laughs> the first, half a day. The first so. day of the hunt, I wanted to shoot a buck. He wouldn't let me. He said, you want to shoot a 200 inch or not? So I'm, gl I'm really glad he made me pass that 190 buck because 215 looks a lot better than that. So kind of exhausted emotionally, physically. Can't really appreciate it as much as I probably will tomorrow, but Pretty dang pump. Did you find dinner tonight? We bought dinner last night. <laughs>